I tried using Nano Banana Pro AI to make an Amazon listing for this face wash product and got this disappointing result. At first it looks not so bad until you look a little closer. Blah, AI gibberish but I didn't give up. In fact, with a little tweaking, I ended up with a perfect image ready to upload to the Amazon listing, all from a crappy photo I took with my phone. Pretty incredible. Nano Banana Pro is Google's new AI image generation model, and it holds the impressive title of being the only AI able to generate entire Amazon listing image sets indistinguishable from professional product photography and design, and all just with your phone camera and an app on your phone. But it's not always totally straightforward to get a good result. In my case, I was dealing with a tougher product with a label on it that had a lot of tiny text. So there is a trick to this. Since Nano Banana Pro came out, my team and I have already used this AI model to generate hundreds of Amazon listing images. And there are five key tricks that you can use to get the most out of Nano Banana Pro and end up with a listing image set that you can actually be proud of and ready to post that's indistinguishable from professional product photography and design. And I'm gonna walk through all five of those with you right now. One of them is the one that I used to fix the issue that I talked about earlier on. Now, some of these tricks I haven't read anywhere else online. I just discovered them by actually using it. And if I hadn't discovered them, I would have thought that this tool was useless for certain types of products, like products with a lot of parts or products with labels on them. But after discovering these tricks, it actually allowed me to use Nano Banana Pro on almost any product to come up with professional product graphics and images. Later on in this video, I'm also gonna give you access to a full ultimate guide for how to use Nano Banana Pro for product photography images and graphics. You can download it for free. First of all, before I get to those five tips, how to use Nano Banana Pro. So to use Nano Banana Pro, you just download the Gemini app on your phone. It's a Google app and then load up the app and switch from fast mode to thinking mode. Once you see thinking in your chat bar, then you'll know that you're in the right mode. Once you're in thinking mode, now you can upload photos from your phone or take photos directly from the app of products and then compare that with a prompt to get a professional product photo or a lifestyle image or a graphic or anything else you need for your e-commerce listing. All right, so now that we're all on the same page, let's get into these five tips. The number one tip is take photos from different angles and different zoom distances of the product to give the model enough context to be able to properly render it. In all the sellers I've worked with so far on helping them to use Nano Banana Pro for their Amazon listings, this is the one thing that I see everyone get wrong. Everyone's focused on the prompt and the structure of the wording of the prompt, but what's more important is giving the model the right visual references. So you can see in this example where I was doing an Amazon listing for this diffuser, I made sure to get a zoom in picture of the buttons on the diffuser because they have small engravings on them. And I wanted to make sure that the model got that right. And you could see in the rendered image that it ended up giving me from my primary image, if you zoom in, it did get the buttons right, including the very specific small engravings on the button. And the only reason it was able to do that is because I gave it the proper context by giving it zoom shots of the product really close up and at different angles. So especially if your product has multiple parts to it, or it has very fine detail, you need to make sure to upload enough photos so that the model has all of the fine detail and reference images that it needs to be able to get the product right. In this case, I was trying to render the primary image of a more complex product that has electronics to it, it has charge ports, it has different parts and it has a hose and a body. So I made sure to give the model multiple different images close up and far away so that it understood the context of the product before rendering this primary image. The second big tip for getting good images out of Nano Banana Pro is if you have a label on the product, a lot of times, especially if there's a lot of small text on the label, the model is gonna turn to AI gibberish on the label. It's not gonna actually show the text. Sometimes it will get it right, but sometimes it'll get part of it right and then it'll go wrong. Like in this example where it looks good from afar, but if you zoom in, you actually see that the text is just AI gibberish. Now, if that happens, what you need to do is upload a reference image for the model that zooms in on that part of the label that it got wrong and gives it a very clear image of the text on that label and then tell it to correct it like I did in this prompt. A lot of products have labels and a lot of brand owners that have labels that have text on their products give up on using AI because they get AI gibberish. This is the way around it. You have to upload separate images of that text very clear. Even if you have to take the label off 
and show it on a flat surface. That can work really well, especially if you're very clear about the prompt that you use for the AI to have the model fix the gibberish in the text that it generated in your initial image. Okay, the next point is one of the ones that I've never seen anywhere else, and I just discovered this on my own by using the app by accident, and this is a huge, huge tip. Like without this tip, a lot of the product images that I've generated, I wouldn't have been able to generate because I would have given up on them too early. And that is the image is different when you download it. Gemini actually adds another layer of processing when you click download on the image and the downloaded image that you get is actually different than the image that you see in the chat. So in the example that I was sharing before where I had this little text on my label that wasn't looking clear, I actually did the corrective prompt and it sent me back one that looked better, but when I zoomed in in the chat, the image still didn't look super clear and the text still looked like gibberish. But then I downloaded the image and I zoomed in once I had the full res downloaded image and it actually had been correct. It's just that it needed that extra layer of process that Gemini applies to these images once you download it. So especially with products that have text on them or labels with text on them, I recommend that you guys download the image first to see what it looks like downloaded on your phone or on your desktop before you judge whether or not it's ready for you to post. Okay, the fourth tip is don't try to make too many changes at once. When you're going back and forth with Gemini in the app, in chat, you don't wanna say, hey, change it from her right hand to her left hand and change the color from blue to orange. Also make sure that the product is a little bigger. It's gonna mess it up. So try one change at a time. And then if it starts to go off the rails, then you can backtrack and you can correct it one at a time. But if you try to do a bunch of changes at once, it's not necessarily gonna get everything right. And sometimes the chat can go totally off the rails and you have to abandon the chat altogether. Now I'm only scratching the surface here. If you want a full guide on using Nano Banana Pro for product photography and product graphics for Amazon listings and e-commerce listings, click the first link in the description of this video and you can download our ultimate guide for Nano Banana Pro for Amazon sellers for free. So click the link in the description of this video and you can get that right now which leads me to my fifth tip which is abandon chat a lot of times you just have to abandon the chat and sometimes what i do or a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just download the most recent good image before the chat went off the rails like in this case where i was chatting back and forth with the ai to try to change things and it ended up doing some freaky stuff like it turned the product black which kind of freaked me out and I was like, whoa, okay, now we're, I didn't say anything about turning the product, product black. Now we're going way off the rails. So I just went back in time, downloaded an image, re-uploaded that image to a new chat, and started with new prompts and I ended up getting the result that I wanted, as you can see here. So if your chat starts to go off the rails, all you have to do is just close down the chat, click new chat, upload the most recent image that was good or on the right track, and then start prompting again. You can also start brand fresh, brand new by uploading the same original reference images that you had of the product in a new chat and just starting fresh. Sometimes even the same prompts, same images will come up with a different result. So sometimes you just need to try again. And sometimes you're gonna get it on the first try, but sometimes you're gonna to have to go back and forth quite a bit or start a few chats until you get one that you like. I'm really excited to see where all of this goes. I'm gonna be uploading more videos on this topic because this is the first time in history, I've been on Amazon for 10 years, that I've seen a tool like this that had such disruption in the marketplace. Now, the same tools that big nine-figure sellers are using to create their images are the very same tools that every small and medium-sized seller has access to as well. So it just completely leveled the playing field. Anybody can create super high professional, high converting, high click-through rate images for their Amazon product listings anytime with the Gemini app. So keep an eye out, I'm gonna be doing more videos on this topic, and I do a deep dive of creating an entire listing with Nano Banana Pro in this video here. So if you wanna go deeper into this topic, check out that video now, and I'll see you over there.